interjecting the right comments at the right time. We live. We live. We live. We are live. We are live. Um, it didn't doesn't feel like we've had a break, but we had about two three minute break. <laughs> yeah. We had a quick mess up funny as they call it, right? <laughs> break. We had a quick break. Um, wow. How are you guys doing? Are you still processing? Are you are you digested the um the previous conversations? I get lots of stuff on the chat, wasn't there? There was lots of stuff on the chat. So uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. Um, it's another uh, beautiful Saturday. Uh, today's topic on Mindful Men's Club was celebrating your successes, something I'm sure um, that we don't often do in life. And, and I think it's really, really important um, to celebrate your successes, right, guys? And we were talking about, first of all, what does success, celebrating your success mean to you? Uh, first of all, do you actually celebrate your success? If not, why? If you do, uh, what does it mean and how do you do it? And I think the third point is how you celebrate your success um, actually matters. Um, and, and then I think there was lot, so many things that we talked about and it's almost like, why is it not okay to celebrate your success? And we talked about cultural influences. We had somebody um, from Germany, um, who, who, you know, who talked about that actually it's frowned upon, um, it's considered if you're showing off, if you celebrate your success, although there's lots of successful, um, you know, people within um, um, Germany and within his culture, but actually it's frowned upon. And then, and then it was really interesting for us, wasn't it, guys, to hear that, that side of the story. So there was many different aspects of what success is and whether it's considered ego, whether it's considered a good thing, a bad thing. And I think the, the, I guess, uh, culmination of all of the conversations coming together um, came to the point where it matters not, right, what other people think of you as long as you feel comfortable with celebrating your own success in the way that you see, see, see it fit in terms of how you celebrate that success. And I think it was around, more around the intention behind the action, meaning that it, are you celebrating success because you've got a micro win, for example, um, whatever that micro win is, a new job or macro win, for example, in some cases, right, in this current climate. So I think it was really fascinating to hear that, of course, there's nothing wrong with celebrating your successes. Like, why wouldn't it be, right? Um, and then if you choose to seek validation through celebrating your success, you'll never be happy, right? Because um, um, some people will be happy for you and some people wouldn't be happy for you. One of the guys shared that actually he only feels comfortable celebrating his su successes with his brother or key people because the success is coming from a place of genuine love and happiness. And, and it's not like, oh, I need to say well done because I'm in a group of people that if I don't, I'll, I'm not going to be in that friend circle. So the dynamic was fascinating, right? In terms of the different avenues where the conversation was going. So many things. I made so many notes. I'm sure you guys have as well. Um, and, and obviously each of us, right? Like, do we do it? First of all, we shared our versions of whether we do it or not and what success means to us and how we celebrate success. So we had, does anybody want to share some of the ranges, I guess, of conversations we had in terms of what success that's as defined. Raj or Sagar, do you want to comment on that? Yeah, I mean, I think kicking off, it's, it was the conversation of what, what does success actually mean? And there's a societal success of like the kind of things you should have or the, you know, the jobs, the houses, the car, like whatever. But then what is the internal success that we crave? And I think when we started off by starting that conversation is um what does celebration mean first and foremost like is it like this big outwardly thing or do we even afford ourselves the opportunity to just celebrate and i've just shared in the chat that what the definition of celebration was just an acknowledgement of an event something that's significant or happy that's happened um and then success in itself is the accomplishment of a name or a purpose so how do we do we allow ourselves the, even the opportunity to just have that moment first and foremost? And secondly, yeah, going back to that big question of what does success mean to you? Forget what we've learned through school or family or parents or society. Like what does success look like for you? And that's the key, isn't it? It's like, it's like um, everyone's definition of success is going to be something um, completely different. And, and, and I think 
some people and then we had we had an interesting conversation didn't we about um is it considered showing off if you celebrate your success and if you celebrate your success online uh, as opposed to offline for example um and, and we had some interesting intakes conversation about it really depends on what your intention is and what your action is and then also um everyone's perception of that is going to be completely different right so are you celebrating your success with the acknowledgement or validation that everyone's going to agree and be happy with you then you're kind of quite naive because there'll be people who are happy for you uh, and we like to think mostly that is the case and there'll be people who are unhappy for you right so if you're doing it from that perspective it's it's actually coming from a place of um insecurity uh, i guess to some degree right um but not to say you can't obviously do it online, you should do it online, right? But the but what's your inner intention of that? And I think um, a lot of the guys mentioned where they do like, uh, you know, like, like a like, like, like a fist fist pump in the air, right? Of, of like a micro a micro achievement, but to them it's a macro achievement. Like one of the guys mentioned that after a run, he's super, super happy, right? Not just because of the endorphins of getting exercise in you, but he's so happy and he's so like killing it. Uh, and he has a micro celebration of wow i've just nailed it in that in that run and other people it's, it's really powerful and, it, and it's empowering i guess um, and then the word empowering came 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 about quite a lot didn't it guys about you can celebrate success and it could be your own celebration of success and isn't it an amazing feeling that if you're empowering somebody along your personal journey and then you're helping them celebrate the success and what could be the possibilities of what could be possible. So for example, uh, one of the guys mentioned, is it selfish to not celebrate your success? That's an interesting point, right? Because you could be doing something so um, empowering or powerful to you, made you happy, but by sharing it with somebody else, um, it could actually empower them to think what is possible, right? So you've heard, you mentioned, um, 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 um about the um who, who was it the, re the record holder for the map was it the marathon or the run the um, yeah R roger bannister when he brought oh, yeah. the yeah. mile, like just showed that through that success what was actually possible and then people started to break that record so this was the thing it was it was one of those achievements where oh, no one can, no one can ever do this break that barrier mm. and actually his success in breaking that barrier allowed other people to break that barrier too so whilst it wasn't like an intentional Here's what I've done. But the concept behind that is actually when you succeed and you share your success, and obviously with the right intention, but at the same time, you begin to show other people, okay, this is possible. And you can invite the conversation of how did you do this? And that's where it's selfish when you don't help people in that sense, because you're doing it for the external validation, for the likes and all that stuff, versus. And I think, do you know, what? I think also failure can go hand in hand with this as well. Here's something I've tried and it didn't work, but here's something I figured out and it worked. And that will help other people. And if you keep it to yourself, and again, not saying there's anything wrong with that, but then it's just too contained. Yeah, and, and I think you just remind me. So it's like um, we were just talking, right? And just really, really briefly because um, for those of you who don't know, we go in the Zoom session, we literally have a couple of minutes um, water break, tea break, whatever you want to call it, and then we're jumping on live. And quite often we forget when we're on live and we just carry on talking. It's just like a continuous conversation anyway, which is great because we always like to keep it real. And then um, the, one of the good things about Facebook is it gently reminds you of your um, anniversary moments, right, wherever they are, wherever you posted in life. And um, it was 8th, 8th of February, right, guys? Remind me, yeah. So 8th of February, we put our first ever event on. This is like obviously pre-pandemic, etc. Um, and the first ever event was um, in the Hare Krishna temple, right? Really, really blessed spiritual uh, uh, sanctuary, right? Um, and it was like so reflective to think back. And I was just reflecting in a micro moment that we should be celebrating the success of empowerment and connection and how we've made some really really good close friends right and 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 we would never have these conversations with people around the world the men around the world right um like we never knew 
what the action would be in that actual exam example, if we were to really be honest with ourselves, but we knew what the intention was, right? So that's a celebration, and 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 and, and yeah, we're happy to 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 celebrate that and to continue to celebrate that. I think that's a good celebration, right? It definitely is. Um, and just going back to what Manoj said, that because we had no idea where this would take us, right? We launched it because we thought that whatever we've experienced that we can share and help others, whether we help others, we're not trying to fix others. Um, and now, you know, the number of people that actually join in our Zoom session, as, as well as people who have connected uh, on our Mindful Men's Club Facebook page, you know, so much love to all the women out there as well, because some of the guys that have joined our session have been because of the women and, and the, the loves that, you know, the people that they love and so on. Um, but I think you're right, Viraj and, and, and Manoj, you know, when you said something about, I don't understand why we are, we know sometimes when we are successful at something or when we're succeeding at something, but why is it that we always ask for that validation? You know, it's like we need to validate it from someone in order to understand our own success, whereas we already know we're success, uh, su uh, successful. And I think, you know, it goes back to the story that I shared uh, uh, on Zoom, which, you know, I don't mind sharing it on here, that, you know, when, when like, you know, of course, with a breakup that I had and always being attached to that breakup, because of the element of care and people still don't understand like everyone is very quick to judge and say well she did this he did this uh why do you still care and what people don't realize that you know she was he she or he or whatever it was still a big part of my life right and so when you know someone and you know someone's uh well-being and and, and their way of thinking you you can't just switch off caring doesn't matter what's happened right but then what happens is because I was so attached to the caring element of someone that's not in my life I forgot to foresee all the stuff that I'm doing or have done and where I am now because I would have never been where I am now if that didn't happen um and it's only now recently you know when I found out some more information that I think wow okay clearly she was getting on with her life why wasn't I right now that means yeah I might have had a down moment because I was like can you imagine if I was just like her now we don't know what her or he or whatever's going through during that time of me but clearly she's moved on and why couldn't I do that now that doesn't make me a bad person but now realizing and putting everything um on on paper actually my successes completely like overweigh the, the negatives but like I mentioned earlier is like I don't know why we always think about the negatives first before allowing our positives and if we actually think and are, are aware and consciously write down or think of what we've achieved I guarantee that the positives overtake the, the bad stuff but it's just unfortunate our mind just picks up the bad stuff right it's like a nugget that's just there you've done this however there's this 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 wrong in your life right so yeah uh, ab ab yeah absolutely i think it's, it's it's really interesting right it's like it's almost like um so so what you're describing is, is a sense of suppression right it's like we suppress our successes uh, based on conditional biases whether it's our own bias or society or environment or parental uh or an example that one of the men gave cultural where it's not deemed um, a good quality to celebrate it because you could be deemed as a show up or um, you take it for granted, right? Because um, every day there's a win. Every day that you you rise up and, 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 and it's almost like every day is a day of possibilities, right? So why would you celebrate what, whatever that is, for example, right? Um, and, and, and it's something that one of my personal kind of um, mantras I'm happy to share with, with, with everyone on here is, and I shared it in, 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 in the private Zoom, is like I have this pop-up come up message that I've written in my own calendar on my phone and it's like um, um, and, and it goes something like um, you can be change and become and it's dot 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 and the dot 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 
is not anyone else's external noise or conversation. The dot, dot, dot is your own voice. So you can interpret that in any way you want. So you can be anything you want to be. You can change anything you want to change in your life. And you can become anyone you choose to become, right? And, and it's just a powerful, it's just a simple thing. I'm not sure why I started that, but it's a simple thing. And it's been on my calendar for ages. And it, it's a humble reminder that in that moment, you can, there's many things to celebrate. You can celebrate change. You can celebrate family. You can celebrate life. You can celebrate nature. You can celebrate the fact that you just landed a job in the high of COVID and high unemployment. You can celebrate the fact that you've got good friends and you've got a loving family and you still, you know, got so much a roof over your head. So, and celebration, even in material way, is not necessarily a bad thing as well, right? It's just that some, sometimes we deem it as, as, as that way because if you worked hard and, and, and you bought yourself a car and one of the men shared that actually, you know, he's bought himself, a, he's got a car and, and, and he's got a convertible, but actually if you get to know the individual, the real reason why he drives a convertible is because he likes the sun on his face. But to everyone else, it might seem that, oh, he's just got a convertible, he's showing off. Now, isn't that the beauty of the lens that we see life through? Like perception is unique to each individual. So, who are we to judge right yeah. and and the thing that we forget in that scenario is what did it take to even achieve that level of success in the first place like yeah to, to get you know you talk about a, a car that's convertible it requires a significant amount of work to build up the investment to get that now why would you not allow yourself the opportunity to celebrate that now of course we, we can't necessarily control what will people think and we can't, I, I think it's very suppressive, as we've said earlier, is to live your life. What are people going to think if I share my success or talk about my failure? You're always stepping on those eggshells. Whereas actually, if you get on the front foot and just kind of come from a place of sharing, say, look, here's just where I'm at. You can share and celebrate with your inner circle, but you have a greater circle of influence as well. And actually by putting that stuff out there, you're going to get a bit of both anyway, but ultimately the ripple effect of saying, okay, here's where I'm at right now can allow other people the opportunity to want to inspire themselves to get to where you are or actually allow certain people, if, if you look at Saga's example of, of the closure to go on their own path. And when you're kind of in limbo a little bit with should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, you're harming yourself. Whereas actually sometimes it's better just to, I would say, to just acknowledge where you're at. And I think that's where humility comes. It's just knowing where you're at and where you aren't. Now there's no point in putting stuff out there that's a total lie because that's only gonna massage your ego. But at the same time, there's no point in bringing yourself down from what you've achieved because that doesn't help anyone either. No, it, definitely. It's definitely, getting definitely. to that place of like, mm. it's just where I'm at to make that, we call it the karmic ripple of like, it's just where I'm at right now. And, and you look at that example of like people finding jobs in lockdown. Now, how inspiring is that for someone that's struggling mm. to find a job in lockdown to say, okay, do you know what? This is possible. Mm. Versus if they couldn't see an example of that being possible. It just compounds and you stay in that echo chamber of potentially negativity versus given all of these circumstances, here's what I've been able to achieve. And in doing- 100%. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it comes down to an um, innate quality. It's a human innate uh, um, um, quality that we all have. Um, not even quality, it's not the right word. It's like it's in our nature to connect, right? From from birth, if you think about it, right? From the um, umbilical cord, right? I'm I'm, I'm going I'm making a bit too super deep here, but bear with me. Um, it's just coming to my head now. So um, from birth to child, um, childhood through to teenagers, right? There's almost like a, a validation, like um, parents telling you, you've done a good job, pat on the back, or your brother, your sister, your elders, or your loved ones, etc. And then you're going through um, the educational system and then seeking grades and validation and, and, and getting through GCSEs and all of that. And, and of course, it's all important, but it's almost like a program cycle of validation right and then you and then you add the mix of social media oh if i post something no one's liking me no one's this and that and it's all those wrong kind of um, endorphin kicks right that you get etc um, and we've all been through that psychology of, of that process but ultimately if you if you're if you're seeking validation from an external force, whatever that external force is, um, it's coming from a flawed concept, first of all, right? Because it, it, we all know that we're all 
um, grown up and we've all been through enough to know that um, that's a completely flawed concept and way of thinking. But if you're doing it from a place of self-love and, and, and you want to celebrate whatever you want to celebrate, why not? Like if you can't celebrate life and, and whatever you've achieved in whatever you deem as success and success does not have to be materialistic and it can be materialistic, but it does not matter, right? If you're not causing harm to anyone, you're, you're achieving your celebrations and you're looking back and you think, wow, this is where I've come and how I've done it, etc. Why not smile about it? There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Like what is, what, what's there to, I mean, we, there's so much expectation and judgment on people, isn't there nowadays? Of, what is right and what is wrong it's that inside out approach and imagine if we celebrated our significant wins like we did when our football team scores a goal yeah yeah can you imagine yeah yeah as as men we we always we always banter right about football right i'm wearing a football top right now my son next door saying dad we're playing we're playing the game started i've got no idea what the score is or what, what the result is right because obviously i'm in conversation with you guys and whoever's listening out there but it's like we almost like focus on the failures um, for whatever reason, right? More than we focus on the successes. And it may be to do with environmental conditioning or bias or upbringing or, or whatever we've been through in life. But if we just shift that consciousness and, and start to actually celebrate the micro successes and the macro successes, whatever that means to us individually, life becomes a little bit more bearable uh, for people who are going through pain and life becomes a bit more inspiring for people who have seen others come out of whatever they've come out of and then for people who are in a good place it just the smile becomes bigger right and then it, it, it's just a chain reaction like you mentioned the ripple effect um, and barrage it's just nice to celebrate it with people obviously I think because as humans we like to connect right with people um, and it's natural to do that with your loved ones and your family but if you're doing something and you're sharing something and i think the key is in sharing if it if it if it if it's a catalyst or if it's a spark um for others listening to say what could be possible surely that's a beautiful thing right and that that's that whole validation thing just reminded me of something um is like you know like you mentioned when you're a kid and i think it's all stems from growing up right is you're always asking your parents i did this okay well done and so I think growing up, you want validation from someone because you want them to see that you've done something when actually, you know, you don't, even if you didn't say that, you're still going to succeed. And it all takes me back to this one quote that I remember very, very clearly, uh, which is um, from uh, uh, Charles Cooley. And that is, I am not what I think I am. And I am not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, that, that quote is just so, and it's so true, but when you break it down, we are what we portray ourselves of what others want to see. Yeah, it's a powerful quote. It's a really powerful quote. You have to say it to yourself a few times to actually get it. Um, and the challenge with that is others, it's plural. So you're trying to mm. fit many boxes in one being and you just can't. They can't. I think there comes a time and place where, like, you know, we've said it a few times, right, where, um, and I say this in a humble way, OPO, other people's opinion matters not, right? Your own opinion of yourself, what you think, um, has to come from, and I think Virad said it quite nicely, I think celebrate, I think we didn't really go too deep into in, into this point, but we can do, but so so one of the, I guess, points that we covered in the Zoom, in the Zoom call uh, previously is that um, celebration has more depth and meaning when it's from inside out meaning that when you're celebrating whatever that fist pump is and, 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 and whatever male or female it matters not right if, if you if you've achieved something in your life and you have this little happy dance or uh, whatever you want to do right whatever it is that you do to make yourself smile if you do it from inside out then when you do celebrate it with your friends who, who are your close friends or your loved ones etc then the feeling is just is just much more flourishing, right? It, because it's coming from inside out. Whereas if you do it from the outside in, meaning that you get the acknowledgement or the pat on the back, but you've never taken a moment in silence to say to yourself, wow, I really got this, I've done this, I've come so far, or, or I've achieved this. And, and it's not ego, you're just acknowledging your own growth, right? Your own growth. So I think it's important to actually celebrate from inside out, definitely.
You just remind me of that. I'm just going to let that one simmer there for a bit because I think that's that's the one where we just never think of it that way. And, and I think the key, one of the key things to also look at is do we do we dissect our successes as much as we overanalyze our failures? Mm -hmm. Because actually failure is the most vital ingredient for success. But do we take the time to look at, okay, what worked? How do we keep doing more of that? And when things don't go to plan, what was missing so that we can add that back into the mix of what's working and continue to just evolve and grow our successes because the micro will take care of the macro in itself. So if we're actually looking at that forward focus of, okay, how do I replicate this success? What was it that worked? What can I keep taking? And what didn't quite work that I can find what was missing? Success then becomes a habit versus it being a place to get to. Yeah, definitely. And I think in the context of success, because it can be sometimes misconstrued, right? That the conversation that we had with the men, success was really about inner peace, inner happiness, inner joy, um, and whatever that meant to each of the men in, in, you know, in the room. Um, I mean, the virtual room, um, I mean, when I said room, the, the Zoom call. And, 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 and I guess if it was material, it's fine. If it was um, health, it's fine. If it was uh, a job, it was fine. One of the guys mentioned, you know, that he, he got a new job, a new guy actually joined for the first time. And we celebrated with him in that moment, right? Because um, why not? Like, why not? And, and you know, and, 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 and it's a powerful thing. It, it, and, and I think success has to be celebrated. We don't often do it enough. And I think if you do it from inside out, I think, so I'm not sure if you guys have ever done this, but in the, in the corporate world, something I'm, I've done religiously for the past 18 years with all of my teams is that we jot down everything that we've achieved um, every day. Um, so it's like each individual does it in their own day, then it accumulates into the month, then the quarter. And then we literally do a timeline, uh, a visual timeline. And, and we, we, as a team, so it's never indi individualistic, it's as a team, this is what we've achieved, looking back in the year. And it just makes things like appraisal so much more um, nicer, right? It's a happy feeling, no one's going there stressing, thinking, is my boss gonna give me, is my manager, director gonna give me a pay rise? It's like, um, I mean, for anybody out there who's ever worked with me knows that <laughs> it's always a happy feeling because if you do it in that way, it's a celebration, right? And you're acknowledging what you've achieved in your growth if that makes sense. It's just a simple, powerful exercise. You can apply it in your corporate life, personal life and business. Um, but yeah, but we don't do it enough. If I have to be really honest with you, I don't do it enough, right? I don't, because because I don't know why, but I don't do it enough. I, I, I've start, I've, I definitely have it inward, if that makes sense, but I, I may not share it outward, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, same. And, 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 and as I shared, it was like, for me, what I quote unquote learned was, and again, this, this probably was totally unintentional, but that success was a bad thing because it made you a different person. You sort of were out there now and you've kind of broken away. Whereas looking at that now, it, that wasn't so, that was just another person's opinion that just kind of shared that with me. Whereas actually that was the place I wanted to be. So why would I deny myself of that? Or even the feeling of when I'm actually there, it doesn't mean that I'm somehow different. It just means that I've achieved something that I wanted to do and I should acknowledge it. I should be proud of it, but then I should build on top of that versus just keeping it contained and, you know, just being very matter of fact about when things happen. I'm like, yep, okay, cool, what's next? Mm -hmm. Just allowing that moment of appreciation to come in because that's fuel to continue to go. Otherwise it's gonna feel like hard work or a chore. So seeing success is something to inspire you. So yeah, go ahead. No, sorry, it's just, mate, you just, you're, you just literally nailed that. You're, you're right, I think. I, I, uh, one of the things that I'm going to say to Manor, like what the what Manor said earlier, was why I don't think we celebrate our successes enough. Because when we do, and when whether we celebrate it on our own, and, and and sometimes you know you need to you need to vent your success, right? And um, where where the whether you have a, um, a put it up on Facebook, Instagram, or, or talk about it amongst family or whatever it is, um, because you sometimes cannot contain it because you're happy with where you've got to, right? And you've, you yourself have seen the journey of where you were to where you are now. But 
I think we don't do that enough. And why don't we? And it all goes back to that one thing is what are the others going to think? Because straight away, we know we are doing it purely because we are happy where we are. But others think, show off. All he talks, keeps talking about is, oh, he's got X amount of weddings or he's doing X amount of stuff. But actually, I don't, I'm not saying that oh, I'm like, you know, Mr. DJ Vala Babu or whatever, right? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is actually where I only used to manage 20 weddings and then being to where I am now, I would have never done that if it wasn't the work that I put in. Exactly what Virad said earlier is success is very easy to put out there, but what goes in, we only we know why we're celebrating it and why we talk about it. So talk about it, share it. Who cares what other people think? Because only yeah. you know why you are celebrating it, right? It shouldn't stop that. And I think that's why all the negatives come out because we don't get to vent our... Does that make any sense? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Right. Succeed so you can inspire others to succeed. Yeah, it, yeah, it's just... Yeah. I think I think there's two two things there, right? I think it's um, it's that classic line, right, in business and, and in career, like everyone thinks you're an overnight success, but no one actually acknowledges the pain or the or the progress or the timeline of years, whatever it is that took you to master whatever it is that that, that each of us do, right, in, in in life that we're good at. Everyone's good at one at least one thing, right, that they're absolutely blessed with, right. And, we, and, and it's and it's a blessed feeling when you when you when you guys find that. And the second thing to your point, Saga, is it's like um, when you do it, when you celebrate it, you're always going to have people who uh, celebrate it with love with you, who are along with you in that journey. And there's always people who have um, a different opinion and will perceive it as whatever they perceive it as. And and the second you realize that you have no control over that, um, is the second that you are at peace with your own own self if that makes sense like like you know, like you know you're not hurting anyone you're acknowledging your growth you're hopefully inspiring other people potentially who may want to be in the same industry or do whatever you um, you know do i'm just talking generalistic here um and, and that's a great feeling right um but at this like um i noticed a couple of people um on my facebook um um one, two, there were two, yeah, there was two individuals, right? Who on my Facebook, who they did a video for the first time. That's a celebration, right? So I was happy for them inside, right? That they came on Facebook for the first time, etc. cetera. Um, I don't know about you guys, like um, on LinkedIn, I'm quite hardcore on LinkedIn. So every time someone has an anniversary or a new job, I, I literally celebrate it with them. And even though I might not have started a conversation with them, but they're in my network. Why? Because they're in my space, my energy space, they're in my time. So why would I not be happy for them? Because it's tough out there, right? So it's like, you can celebrate in any micro way you want, as long as the intention is, is good. And, and, and do you know what, what you just said actually works, right? Is if you're going to do it with a pure heart, and not worry about what others think too much. And, but actually you wanna inspire others, uh, the, the benefits of that, you know, and, and that is a success in its own, right? Um, and as, I'm only saying this because yesterday someone messaged me on WhatsApp and this person um, for the first time, she shared her entire journey that she's had over the last 15, 20 years living with something right and uh, i just messaged her and i said you know what i saw it on uh, facebook on, on social media i'm so proud of you and she came back saying it's because i watched your life that i thought why can't i do it mm. and it took her 15 20 years to actually she always wanted to do this but that whole thinking of what are others going to think mm. and then realizing that there's so many people like myself Manoj, you put it in writing, uh, you know, you have your writing there in terms of what you're going through, whatever it is, Viraj does his life, but actually, because we're not going to do these lives about, oh, it's all about me, because we actually want to share it to help others, how weird is it that actually, when we, we don't realise, but we are actually inspiring others in the, in the background, uh, whether we see it or we don't, because not everyone messages people and say, oh, thank you so much, because you're inspiring, 
if, if that's the only reason you're going to do it, you're not going to do it full heartedly, right? Mm. Uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. Nice absolutely. And you're right. It, it works. It takes courage, right? It takes courage to share whatever it is you want to share, right? And 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 and, and whether it's good, bad, it doesn't, it doesn't really make it. It just takes courage to be real and, and to share mm. whatever you need to share, and and. And every everyone has their own form of expressionism, right? Whether it's dance, writing, speaking, lives, whatever it is, right? But I think as humans, you're gonna find your own medium of expression, and 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 if you can't express your authenticity in whichever way you feel comfortable, then that that itself is quite scary, right? That that that's a, that's a you're suppressing quite a lot. Um, and we all know it's healthy to, to to process emotions and 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 for mental wealth being. And we're we're, we're doing this because we talk about mental health a lot, um, and and obviously with men, what mental health means amongst men. And we talk about diverse subjects and topics, and we get super raw and deep in the conversations. We have we have a bit of banter and joke, of course, always, but we get so deep into it. If if there was, let's say. Um, 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 I'm just putting out there, right? Um, um, and the opposite sex listening, they probably would be shocked in a good way because we're so, we get so raw, don't we, under the layers and we get so deep, et cetera. And men typically takes a bit of what they call Dutch courage, right, for that to happen, whether it's a drink in their hand or something, or you've got to be in, you know, in the context of, of, of alcohol or, or other intoxication, whatever. But I think that's a beautiful feeling, the fact that we could just talk real, be honest, unlayer, 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 not judge, there is no right or wrong, and get on with our weekends. And then two weeks later, we're talking about another topic, two weeks later, and then we're, we're like a year in now, we're past a year in now, right? 8th of February was, was, was the first ever event. So I think, I think it's, 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 it's just nice to be nice, right? And to do things with a place of real and rawness and, and understanding that what you're doing is bigger than you and what you are, if that makes sense. I think, yeah, just as we come up to, to the time, I think what, one thing I'm really getting and just as we're sharing is that success leaves clues. So if you're succeeding, it's because you've picked up clues from other people. And I think that it's almost incumbent on you to, to share that, to leave clues for other people as well. And your success can be fuel for other people as well as fuel for yourself as well. And yeah, like, when you think? We've just come over a year. And if we didn't even acknowledge that, like, could you imagine if we just kind of kept this under the radar and just kept it to a select few bunch of people that would meet up and have almost that conversation so i think it's, it's it's important to recognize that from a year from when we started we you know we had the first one in person but then we've done one every other week since basically lockdown happened so let's say from april to now that's been a ton of stuff and we've managed to connect with people from from asia from the us to, to europe and africa as well and it's it's rolling and i think that's that's definitely a moment just kind of acknowledging at present that that just by showing up, it's a success. And now we're building on top of that as well. And, and next week we go into to conscious parenting, which is gonna be our next theme as well, which is gonna be another absolute humdinger of a session and looking at how, how do we see parenting or for us as parents right now, how present we are in terms of the way we parent and, and things like that as well. So yeah, this is just, what a year, what a year it's been. Definitely, definitely, um, but wouldn't have it any other way, right? definitely wouldn't have it any other way we've got a lovely family let me just put it that way and yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually look forward to every uh two weeks honestly it's uh, it's so nice definitely definitely i've got no idea who's in the in, in the chat if there's any comments because i can't see it at the same time so um but uh, but but massive shout out to anyone who is um joined or is watching us or watching us on the replay um and massive shout out to all the women and our sister groups right we always acknowledge them so if you're a woman out there and you're you know you're basically 18 to 35 um go check out reroute um if you're a female outside of that age bracket and 18 plus go check out mental wealth um and they're both our sister groups etc and if you're a, a guy out there um and just wants to keep it real and, and 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 grow and has the growth mindset or wants to enter the growth mindset in a humble way come check out what we do at mindful men's club and we've got new people coming in and out and i say in and out because there's no pressure um it's like a radio station right if you feel the vibe you feel the vibe if you don't if you're going through something then you want to stay away you find that there's no like expectation or judgment and if you want to come on chat go on chat come on video come on video so i think um we always get new 
people listening in and just really to finish up is the reason we're doing this is to ensure our vision and mission is purely simple is to ensure that there is not another male that falls victim to suicide um, because they didn't have any way out and whatever that means to you so i we're just creating a private space for people to actually connect grow and inspire that's pretty much our tagline right on mindful men's club um, and help support each other right and, and, and help grow with each other and then learn from each other we learn tons don't we? We, we we learn so much from from the shares and the stories um, of people and they're so deep and they're so real and some of the stories they've never even shared with their families can you imagine um, or their loved ones and they're sharing with uh, you know a, a group of guys right and who, who they've just connected with so I think it's a humbling feeling it's, it's definitely a humbling feeling yeah I just want to just um finish off just uh, to, by saying um, that please yeah if you watch it on replay whether it's on Facebook you can also watch it on replay on um, YouTube uh, we have our YouTube channel uh, just type in mindful men's club and uh, it should be the first or second one that actually pops up um, so all the, um, uh, the the Facebook lives that we do are uploaded on a two weekly basis and we also upload any other links that have come um, our way by people sharing it on our Zoom session. So, you know, it's open to everyone. And, you know, again, it, you don't have to, we're very easy. You don't have to come on the Mindful Men's Club Zoom platform. But if you think that uh, someone you love uh, may find a benefit, uh, some kind of benefit by looking through our sessions on YouTube, then please, please do share. Um, and we actually do break it down in topics. So you don't have to go through every single video. Uh, you may connect with one for that specific moment. So please, please, you know, do share. And um, I'm, I'm sure so many people will find some kind of peace um, with whatever they watch. And again, Zoom platform is always open for men. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, Viraj. Yeah, no, I, I just wanna just wanna round off by saying um, we got a great comment here from Darren and you guys are inspiring, never thought I'd watch things like this pre-lockdown. And I think that in itself is, is a is a success that that we definitely want to take ownership of because we we have been showing up every other week and we're doing this purely just out of service as well and i know that you know the three of us and i have in here as well like we we just get on with it but i think you yeah, know that's this is a great testament that you know that this is something that we've we've caused and it's something that we're going to continue to to do and thank you for that there and that's that's an, an amazing moment for, for us to see as well um but no, in the main, like looking forward to, to our next session on, on conscious parenting. And of course, if there's any theme, any topic you guys would like us to cover, um, we're looking at our sort of next quarter of what topics we want. So please do message us or, or tag us online um, so we can definitely get that up and running. And again, Manoj Sagar, um, yeah, just want to congratulate you on, on the successes that you had in, in the past year and, and just with everything that's, that's happened so far, not just with Mindful Men's Club, but personally and professionally too. Yes, yeah, likewise, bro. Likewise, bro. It's been a, it's been an epic, epic, challenging, but epic, epic year. So, um, yeah, on on that nice positive note, have a super, super blessed weekend, and we'll see you guys in two weeks. Yep. Two weeks. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.